Hey everyone, this is Eric with VVAstring.com and I'm going to show you how to load a user form automatically when the workbook opens. So that's what this video is about. On the other videos I have, I um, have a uh, user form being opened by uh, when you click a certain command button. Well, this opens up automatically when you open up a workbook. So uh, the advantages are that that's the only thing you could do when you is interact with this form whenever I open up the workbook. You see, when I click on anything else, I can't. When I open up this workbook, that's what opens up. Um, what alternate F11 will show me my VBA window. Where to go? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's so modal that I have to close it out. And again, you can put your own controls in there to like not have them close it or disable the button or whatever. Uh, user form one. Okay, that's my user form, and what I'm doing the whole thing pivots on this this workbook. I could program the object here, and if I program the object, uh, you see what I'm doing when the workbook opens. I can program the event, the open event, and I'm showing the user form. That's basically it. Yeah, it's a simple thing. So when I close this out, when I close it, close the workbook out, and if I open it back up again, oh, remember to save your workbook and anything with VBA code has to be saved as an XLS. M, okay, a macro enabled workbook because it does have, even though you didn't say you didn't record your macros, it still has code in it. So uh, it's different than the XLSX, you have to have it saved as a XLSM. Um, so when I open this up, bang, here's my user form. Uh, and if I close it, which I'm going to do, Again, here's my user form. If I wanted to add a user form, if I delete the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Remove user form one. No, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, do anything with it. I still have my code here, so it's going to give me an error whenever I load it. I can right click, insert user form. Okay, now I have user form one again, so it's pretty easy. Um, that is how you load a user form uh, when the workbook loads, and the advantages you can have them automatically from the start. They can start using this user form to enter data into the worksheet. You can constrain the constrain the user just to just to utilize what it, whatever you made your user form. It's your application. Uh, you can control it. You have better control over it whenever you click on user form. So look at my other video where I have the activate uh, when you work these act these these events are powerful. Work open. Okay, I have all these different events I can I can uh, test for. I can program. And notice I have general workbook. Okay, this is. The jet, this is based on the overall uh, workbook. Now I, I can have a sheet level and sheet level I worksheet and I can have, I can have all these too. I have all these events too. And that's pretty much why if you see my other video, it uh, I used the worksheet object. But this is the workbook. It's overall. Okay, double click on this workbook. And you can see workbook open. You can program all the workbook events. Hopefully this video added some value to you. And if it did, go ahead and smash that like button. Okay. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want the code for this, coming out to vbastring.com. Also, click down there in the, uh, the description below. I have a... I have a link to where the video is going to be at, where you can get the simple code. So, thanks, and 
I will see you in the next video. Oh, and if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Make sure you ask them below. Or you can just send me, send me an email. Okay. Thanks.